is Coach Tex. DFW Penguin Basketball. Before we get started, man, um, comment on this joint. Like it, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Today, real quick, I'm going to tell you, especially if you are a starter on the team and uh, you consider yourself a decent scorer, how to average 20 points or close to 20 points a game in the formula excuse me, is actually pretty easy, okay? Now, depending on your role on the team and the position that you play on the team, it could be easier than others, okay? How many touches, how many shots you get a game. But when I think of shots, people always think about, like, uh, analytics, all the stats and all that stuff. But, I mean, I feel like the more you play, the more opportunities you have to score. Now, everyone always, if you play a certain amount of minutes, if, let's say if it's a, say I'm a high school kid and I'm, it's 32 minutes in a high school game, right? Um, and let's say I play 20, 25 of those minutes, right? Now, it's four quarters, right? Now, late in the game, let's say, well, let me just break it down real quick. To average 16 points a game, four points a quarter, that's two layups, a jump shot, whatever it may be. Okay, if you break it down like that, it sounds pretty easy, right? Okay. Um, if you can score four points a quarter, that's four in the first, that's eight in the first half, eight in the second half. Now, in the second half, you should always, a lot of times, you're always going to end up scoring more because of fouls and things of the nature, especially if you're a guard. But you can get an easy layup out of a play. You can get a fast break layup the first quarter. It's four points. Second quarter, same thing. Hit a jump shot or whatever. Get an easy layup. Eight points. Going to the third quarter, 12, 16. You might even get more than that. Late in the game, it's foul situations, bonuses. You make those free throws, you can push that to 20 easy. Right? Now, it sounds crazy when I say this. But think about certain opportunities that you have in a game where you cut to the basket, your teammate finds you, you got an easy layup, or it's a fast break, you run down, get a layup, things of that nature. It sounds crazy when you think of it, oh, okay, this person averages 20 points a game, or he averages 16 a game. But when you break it down, it's really four points a quarter. Now, if you're a person that gets a lot of shots, okay, the more shots you make, the better. But... You can get those points off free throws, offensive rebounds, cut to the basket, steals, things of that nature during the game. Okay? And that is very important if you're a scorer. Finding easy ways to score. Being active. Okay? Um, making free throws. Guys, I can't tell you how much make or how how uh much making free throws can make or break your points per game. Okay. If you're a person and you shoot 82, 80, 80 to 90 percent from the free throw line, you're going to take your average up at least three points, three or four points a game if you get fouled, okay? Because you're going to make the majority of your free throws, right? And ones, um, shots in a bonus, fouls on jump shots. There's a lot of guys that miss six to eight points a game that are starters or that, that have a big role on their team. Off missing free throws, if you shoot, if you go to the line and shoot eight free throws and you make three of them, that's five points. Let's say you end up with 12. That could have been a 17-point game you would have had potentially if you would have made those free throws instead of 12, right? Let's say it's, it's a long draw in that game in the fourth quarter and you go to the line 12 times, right? And you make six. You end up with 15 points, right? You make those six free throws or you make five more of those, you got a 20 point, 21 point game, right? So it's very, very important. Free throws are very, 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 very important. Finishing on offensive rebounds. A lot of guys, especially when they're guards, okay, they don't value boxing out and getting those extra shots and extra positions. Because it's a different, it's different when you score out of the offense. They run a play, and the shot is for the wing to get the shot. You come off the screen, whatever it may have, whatever it may have you, and you get a shot like that, right? 
I think those plays are the ones that should count. Offensive rebounds, sometimes in certain situations, I don't really think they should count as field goal attempts, but they have to. If you get a tip in or you get an offensive rebound, put it right back up, okay, and you miss it, I don't think that should count on your percentages because it kind of throws off what really happened in the game, the full game. That's why I don't believe in analytics as much as a lot of people. But if you can get, let's say I average eight points a game, right? And I get two tip-ins a game that takes me to 12, okay? But say I go to the line in the game four times, okay? And I make, okay, out of eight free throws, I make four. I'm shooting 50% from the free throw line. If I can make all of those, it takes my average up a lot. But if you're a scorer on a team, okay, and your team goes by quarters, okay, you want to try to score in high school, middle school basketball. You want to try to score four points a quarter, okay, and that will get you there to close, you know, to to 14 to 20 points a game. It just depends. Some quarters you're going to score more than others. You may have to draw a blank one quarter. Okay, but that just goes back to let's say in the third quarter you don't score at all. You still got 12 points, and that's a decent amount of scoring. But you get to the fourth quarter, okay, late in the games, fouls, making free throws, and to your average. Hustle points, going and getting offensive rebounds, things of that nature. All that stuff counts. But honestly, I will tell you this try to score four points a quarter. Try, if you go by halves, try to get eight points a half. Every 10 minutes, let's say there's two 20-minute halves, try to score four points every 10 minutes. And it may seem like it's, it seem, it's when I break it down like that, it sounds so easy, but it just depends. It's your efficiency, hustle plays, things that are making free throws. As we keep talking about, I keep saying that. If you want to bring your average up, and you're, just like, you're not a natural, amazing scorer, those are ways that you can do it. All right, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any more questions, um, any questions about what we talked about today, make sure you leave a comment. Um, Add us on Instagram at penguinhoops.com. And I will see you guys later.